three. Worst three things. Two things. Celeste, what was something you didn't like about the parent trap? If there was any then. Now, I'm I'm going to preface this with with I understand the time frame and that they did not have the technology that we do today. But sometimes the green screening of Haley Mills with Haley Mills was rough. Oh, it I was never knew real s- rough. Or like they really? would like there were certain scenes where they would like have them walking through the park and you could tell oh, they Boston. weren't really Yeah, they weren't working. in Boston. They never went to Boston. <laughs> well, no, here, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. okay. Is that the Yeah, that's the part you fell asleep on. No, okay. I didn't fall asleep on it. <laughs> this was just like, but it didn't make my top 2. Continue to last and I'm going to add on to it. Please. Continue. Okay. So it just it was really frustrating because I've seen Disney do better. And so I'm sitting here going, were they just trying something new that they weren't familiar yeah. with? Like, mm-hmm. was this a brand new technology that they were trying to do? Or because like the stuff with Mary Poppins that they were doing with the, the cartoons and whatnot was great. It was fabulous. That's a different background image it, than a it real It is. In, in, and maybe yeah. that's the issue, but it just, it was a little rough sometimes. It made me go, ooh. <laughs> so that, that was what a What is this? I'm watching a movie? Come on. <laughs> I, so what I'll say, what I'll add to that is, so I didn't I notice think. anything that was really rough about like Haley Mills and Haley Mills and that aspect of it. But when it went from, from yeah, they're in a green screen taking a picnic and then walking to in the like, let me just move back and forth and we're pretending we're walking. I'm like what the junk, Disney? And then and then they to make matters worse, they pull out to a wide shot where they're in the actual park. I'm like, okay, why couldn't you just film in the park? I was like, okay, maybe they had to do this in a studio. They couldn't get to a park. All right, fine. But no, no, they're they're literally in the park. And so and then at the end, they do a green screen of the ranch that they've been filming on for most of the movie for the wedding. I'm like, oh come on, what's wrong with this? It was it was like it was an alternate scene added at the end. We need mm-hmm. something at the end. I mean, yeah. okay, I could see that but it's still uh that just really perturbed me that it's like because yeah. the overall quality is like they're there like on set they're they're at the camp it looks great mm-hmm. they're they're in the ranch they're in all these Again, places you got to remember this was filmed 60 years ago they weren't expecting people to watch it on home video they thought maybe people would watch it once you know, ever maybe. And then if it, if they were lucky enough to have it re-released in theaters, it would be at least 10 years. So, you know, it's, and it's going by quick. But. I, yeah, yeah well, I, I suppose that's a good point, Paul. That, no, that but is, it did, it did, it, it did make my dislike list, but it was cut off okay. as well. All right. All right. But it, you're absolutely right. It was mind boggling to me how Haley Mills looked so good with Haley Mills, but they didn't look good in a part. I mean, what? <laughs> Well, see, and then even sometimes when Haley Mills was with Haley Mills, there were issues, and you're mm-hmm. like, I can I can see the line, but I also have to take into account that I, when I was a kid watching this movie, because I remember going, that looks weird, oh. um, but we we recorded it off of the Disney Channel, <gasps> yeah, onto a VHS, so which I was just, legal at the time. Oh with, yeah, that's right. oh good, that's good to know, um, <laughs> but. It might have been. I don't know. I Actually, don't know I think it. it's always been legal to record off the TV if it's well, free over it air. Wasn't, it, there, there was at one point. It wasn't legal. It wasn't illegal, but then they made it legal like in the very early Yeah, 80s, because you're essentially, just, coming out. you're essentially just time shifting your viewing. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, whatever it was, I watched it multiple times, and I just always attributed the weirdness to this is on a channel on a VHS that's now, you know, 10 years old Mm. so watching it on disney plus makes me go oh no that wasn't just the vhs although i will admit it was nice to not have the ad for the disney channel in the middle of the movie (laughs) nice yeah Yeah. that's back when the disney channel was not as good started when it started to become not good Mm -hmm. womp 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 downhill disney Disney channel and it's still down there yep what are you gonna do about it? Whoa, whoa! I'm so. So they still have the Disney Channel, even though yeah, they have Disney really Plus. Yeah, it's really weird. Why weird. they Why they still have them around is beyond me. They I mean, just should put everything on Disney Plus and get it over. Well, with. regardless, because some people still pay for cable. Apparently, yeah. let's go to Ashley next. What's something that you didn't like 
about uh, Disney Plus. I mean the Disney Channel. I mean the Parent Trap. I couldn't have been the only person bothered by Haley Mills slipping into her British accent. Could I have been? It drove me absolutely batty at certain points in the movie because I did watch it on Disney Plus and I watch most things with subtitles on. And you know they're yeah. making a point when the subtitles actually say in parentheses British whenever Sharon was but speaking. And I was about to say that was Sharon's role. She was that was her neighborhood. They grew up in that. Yeah, no she was her one else in her family has that type of uppity accent. They carry themselves in a way they're poised, and they they have a sort of accent for Boston in the nineteen sixties, but. Because they they were older and they had more of an acting background, I felt like they carried themselves with kind of almost like a transatlantic accent because they were classically trained and grew up in the early days of screen time. And Haley Mills, she was very young at the time, so there would be times when she would be playing Susan, and it would be ever so subtle, but it was very convincing that she was doing her best job mimicking an American accent, but when she was playing Sharon, she dropped into it more heaven, more heavily than other times. And there were certain mo moments in the movie where it just got lost. And I'm like, this is driving me crazy. Why am I getting so mad at this? It was like a suspension of yeah. disbelief for me just because she kept... And the fact that Disney Plus had it in parentheses, British, and then, then the lines. And I'm just like, nah. See, to me, it was... It may... And I may be giving Haley Mills too much credit, but no, to can't. me it was more a matter of because she was Susan pretending to be Sharon, right? When it was happening, and so to me, her slipping in and out of it was indicative of the fact that she was pretending to be a twin that she wasn't. I didn't notice it when they were in their right spots. It happened a little bit here and there, but I guess mm -hmm. I, I'm just I'm just so used to it. I mean, I'm thinking of like what they did in the remake to kind of change that and make it actually part incorporated into the film but this i'm like i understand that Haley mills was fairly young at the time and it, it could have happened to anybody but the fact that it happened so frequently i'm just it it lost me i'm like people from boston in the 1960s don't sound like that i'm sorry yeah we're time travelers we would know <laughs> yeah right we, we would know i i wonder if this is a product of now, so for me, for, I've only, I think I've only honestly seen this movie one time before as a kid at some point. And then seeing it this time, I didn't notice that, but I wonder if I was so sort of focused on the other elements of like what's going on in the story and following that and just seeing that through and just seeing other elements like bad green screen that I didn't pick up on that. Though if I had been, if I've seen this movie several times over the course of my life, I'm more, I'd be more, uh, more ready to pick up on stuff like that. So I wonder if that yeah. might be the case here. Yeah. I'm sure it's there. I, I noticed that there was something, but it didn't bother me because I think I was just too focused on other things. Yeah, I think it's because I've seen this movie so many times that we actually had a legitimate copy on VHS. And Whoa, shots we, fired nice. it, We had Jeez. it in the Disney plastic <laughs> clamshell. So it came out in the 90s and we watched yeah. it on home video. And I remember watching this movie so much and I'm like, she it she always sounded a little off to me, and it wasn't until as I got older I'm like, oh yeah, she's British. Yeah, you British. Uh, she was born of Mister Robinson of the Swiss family Robinson. Oh my gosh, uh, that's her dad. Great, Paul. What's what's fine? What's a dad? What? No, that's not a joke. What's something that's <laughs> bad about uh, Parent Trap for you? Oh my gosh. So Ashley touched on this earlier when she mentioned the, the running joke of wait till your grandmother sees your hair. Well, look what you've done with your hair. So it was long before and now it's short. And guess who has short hair? You? Her right. grandmother. Oh, it right. looks ex almost exactly like her grandmother. Right. She looks, Why'd you cut your hair? Uh, to look more like you, grandmother. Don't you like it? <laughs> so, okay. Well, here's something that I think is more of a time issue. For me, because I I think I wonder the whole hair issue. I wonder if there's something missing for me, having not grown up in that era, that styles meant something different. Like because the mom had her hair up, up, and then mm -hmm. she had it fuller, and then that was more like and youthful, cut, yeah. I guess. And so, and then yeah, but then the grandma had hers up, but then she was sad when the she, then. Haley Mills or Sharon cut her hair. 
it was it was confusing to me. I wasn't sure what certain hairstypes were supposed to indicate. Like the the young the 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 Vicky who was the young person that Mitch was going to marry. Um, I I was like, you don't look that young. You look you and Maureen, uh, you and uh, Maggie look about the same age. And I'm like, okay, I guess you're young. Um, I would actually say that Maureen O'Hara looked younger. Yes, a little bit. Yeah, almost. Um, so, it's the silver hair, yeah. Though I did look it up. The uh, Vicky was played by a 26 year old, and 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 Maggie. No way. Yeah, she looked like 56. I know, right? Like, that well, and me and Paul talked about her. this. It didn't help her. No, no. Well, I, it, she may have been prematurely gray or silver. I oh, think that's maybe what, that could be. But she had strong like jaw features, which you usually don't see in someone that 26. She but has wow. a strong jaw. <laughs> Where is that from? I'm quoting I something. No I don't idea. remember where that's from. Oh, I, I is that friends? But going no. back to the yeah, grandmother, I thought she had longer. The grandmother had long hair and cut it and then regretted it. And maybe that's why oh, like, she I told her. Because that. I could see that. You know, everyone knows in First Corinthians eleven fifteen it says, But a woman has long hair, it's for her glory. So, you know, don't cut your hair unless you, you have to. Wow. You want to. Okay. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was gonna sort of go off on that, but now you, the, thank you for, as much as I appreciate the scripture, it totally derailed my train of thought. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll go to the thing I didn't like though, which was, and I mean, I guess it, it's, this could be another different time. People just felt differently, <clears throat> but as a parent, I cannot imagine being willing to be away from my child for pretty much their whole life and just like oh well i'll take one you take one it's like that seems horrible that's just like the... what what judge approved that uh, yeah i and yeah. yeah that's another whole issue it seems like yeah it's... it may have been common back then or and i maybe, should say more common like in the in the law books it may have been allowable back then yeah and it that, may be different now. that just I don't seems know. so uh, i judge mean judy maybe <laughs> wow no Watner for sure no I just I'm surprised that 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 didn't seem to they both Judge um, Solomon mer, there you go both yeah cut the baby in half except there's two so you That's each can have did. one instead of having to cut yeah, it down exactly. the middle one whole baby still sad though both one whole baby could have vision play. both Maggie no Solomon wins <laughs> Mitch and Mitch <laughs> That is his name right I'm not saying the Mitch. actor's name yes Mitch Mitch okay. yeah, yeah. Thank it's, you. it's not uh, Keith Brian. Thank you. Uh, both Maggie and, and Mitch um, both feel like I'm, I'm just they both seem like they're they're happy and overjoyed to see the 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 daughter that they didn't grow up with. But it's like I that seems just so crushing to like not to know that you have a a, 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 a son or da daughter in this case, but a son or daughter somewhere else that you're not going to see grow up at all so i'm just i'm just surprised that there wasn't i don't know it seems like there'd be more to that that they would address that in some way but they don't and so i'm just like i'm a little flummoxed about that so that's that's more personal to me your tragic maker no it actually I, it actually does I, not I, go into my I, tragic maker my I tragic maker tragic, is very much a francisco thing <laughs> i thought your tragic maker was like how come the parents can't figure it out that that's not their kid but their helpers can <laughs> No, I didn't. No, that's a good point. I didn't think about that part, but uh, that actually was my tragic maker. What? Yeah, oh, I called it. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You know what? That's fine. Let's get into tragic makers because that was the last dislike of our dislikes. So let's expound. Why was that your tragic maker? It's just so frustrating because, like you said, I can't imagine a parent being willing to separate themselves from their kid. Like, I know it happens. I know that that happens. But generally when it happens, you don't take one and leave the other. Like, generally when that happens, it's a complete disregard. And so I'm sitting here going, why would you do that? Like, what kind of therapy do these girls need to go through now because mom rejected this one and dad rejected this one? Like, what is happening to these children psychologically? So well, it's according just, to the dad in this, you just don't think about it. Yeah, no, that that's, I mean, it's very 60s. Um, yes, I predict that as well, Cellcast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, but it just, it was so sad to me. And then to see the parents 
reunited with the other one that they thought they hadn't seen. It just, it, it almost ruined the feel of the movie because they were so upset. And I'm going, you did this to yourselves. So, and I then the, it was very touching when they reunited. They were very happy was, to see. It was, but they also did it to themselves. So I'm going, that's what well, you get. Yeah, but, <laughs> but still, it's good to have those moments. Hey, I've done things in my life that I regret. And then to, to see... Call like All the Master Interrupted regrets? No way. Yeah, I'm not perfect, but... <laughs> Um, I, it would be great. I, I thought they, it was great to see them reunited. Yeah, I will give you that. It was good. But then they went on to the whole, okay, well, what do we do with them now? Because we can't separate them. One of you move. Like, you don't have to live across they're, the country. You can be grown adults and talk to each Celeste, other. But Celeste, the Red Cross. You can't miss your meeting with them. There's a Red Cross in California. <laughs> Like just well, they the... have family over in Boston. Where okay, first of all, who goes to Boston for Christmas? Where it's like cold and re and like snowy and black ice and all that dangerous stuff. No, you go to California for the winter time, and then the summertime is out in Boston area. That's the way to do it. Good to know. That makes sense to me. So, but yeah, it just it seemed like the kids were suffering because the adults couldn't be adults. Yeah. And again, I, I understand totally that is a that. common thing, but still. Absolutely. And I wonder how common this was, where there is there are a lot of times where kids just started half the school year in one school and then on and then back the, the other half at another, and they would go back between those two schools every year and just only do half of them there. I mean, Francisco, you and I are, are military brats. We kind of have a, a clue into that, but it's not to that degree. You yeah, know what I not mean? At all, yeah. <clears throat> yeah you're still moving around with your family and you have like you have a a uh core set that's always this that familiarness that's always there um yeah. but yeah that's that would be really strange to do something like that yeah um but let's move on to uh ashley what was your tragic maker for the parent trap well, I definitely agree with all those things that were said about how that's really tragic, how the twins were split up. The thing that bothered me the most about this film was that there seemed to be little to no consequences for so much of the things that happened in this film. I look back to the very, very beginning and you think of the girls playing pranks on each other and how oh, yeah. and how the girls that actually sabotaged the bunk there's zero consequences for them. And I know like, well, they never got, they caught. never got caught. And it's like, but the girls who were in that cabin got punished. And it's like, seriously, would they really do that to themselves? Why are you punishing them for something that they had no part in? And the only reason why they got that retribution is because, Ooh, a canoe got tipped over and we're wet. So now we need to get revenge. And it, it just was so silly, and there seems to be almost zero consequences. Yeah, the only consequences let, that happened was the two girls getting paired together in the isolation table and tent. Everything else... Well, that, they, that's because they got caught fighting. Uh, they got oh, caught. Oh, yeah, they got caught. But everything else that happens later, there seems to be little to no consequences. These girls, they lie to their parents. They impersonate yeah. each other. Their parents are like, oh, I'm yeah. so happy to see you. And I, I mean, it's great that they got to reunite, but they there was no consequence for that. And then at the end, when they just go and they are doppelgangers and they refuse to tell who is who, and they're basically pouting and throwing a fit. I mean, I get it. They didn't want to be separated. And it was the only thing that they could come up with. And what happens at the very end? Like, the parents get together. The girls don't get any kind of punishment that we know of. And basically, it's saying, like, yeah, just lie to your parents, impersonate each other, and have no consequence. Because it doesn't... Wait, see, wait. Does the end justify the means? Are there ever no consequences in that? As an adult watching that now, I'm like, seriously? You're basically telling them that it's okay to do this. So your tragic maker in this are disobedient kids. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Victory! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did not see that coming. And what's funny is, I'll, I'll take it, uh, because my tragic maker is related, but not in the way you think. Um for I, I agree, something felt very off, especially at the end when they're like, we're not going to tell you who's who, and you're just going to have to deal with it. I'm like, no, that's are. You, it's almost like they don't. I wonder if there's a case of 
I've been parenting this one, but I'm not used to parenting the other. So now I don't know how to parent all of a sudden. It was just very strange that they didn't. Or I thought they were old enough that they would stand up to their parents and just refuse. Well, I mean, that's kind of what they're doing, though. Oh, you mean to yeah. go? To just yeah, go yeah, without yeah, whatever, to resort yeah. to that? I guess. Yeah. Regardless, it just seemed really weird. I mean, it's. I mean, I guess I'd be almost like, fine. You know what? I'm just gonna take this one. It may be the wrong one, but that you you kids are deciding putting us in this predicament. We're not gonna. We're not gonna go down to your level and play this game. No, you're just gonna. This one's coming with me, I guess. Um, if you want to do that, I mean, I again, I feel like the way they separated them was not good at all. But I don't think that you don't uh, make make a right with two wrongs anyway uh parenting aside explain I, that to the kids <laughs> like you've just separated them for their entire life hey what we did was wrong but what you're doing is wrong too and oh yeah like that's gonna make up for it okay okay regardless that's not in in full that's not my treasure maker proper my treasure maker proper is <laughs> <laughs> two elements of this home the beginning and with yeah, the the bunk that is sabotaged and Vicky's tent that's oh. sabotaged. There is no way you do that much moving. There is no way you can move around, do all that wires, all the mud, all the honey, all that stuff with not waking up one person. No, what, you, I don't know, Celeste. I don't see no, it. No, I, have, I have an example. Yeah, Indiana Jones. If you ever watch the Temple of Doom, oh, no, no, you're no. in an Indiana no, Jones no, no. movie that can fly. I, I have a real life example. Okay. Yeah. All right. May, may I share it? Yes. yes go please. ahead. Okay. I am a really hard sleeper. There you go. I have to have the the most obnoxious alarm clocks. My alarm clock on my phone has math that it makes me do before it stops so that <laughs> I get up and don't just nice. hit the button and go back to sleep. And nice. I, I'm going to have to figure out how to make it give me more harder math problems because I'm starting to get to the point where I can do the, the easy math in my sleep. But anyway, when I was a teenager, we went to a camp. Now, I was getting sick. We didn't realize I had asthma. I was getting uh, pneumonia. We didn't realize it. Ooh. And so and camping, I was like, make it worse. I was like bad sick. And it was like a winter camp. So it was cold. <clears throat> And so we were in these rooms on bunk beds. We were in our own private room. So everybody that I knew was around me. It wasn't like we were just in the, the long hall ones. But I was so hard asleep when it was time to get up. They drug my mattress out of the room <laughs> with me on it. I stood yes. up. I grabbed the mattress. I walked back in and I half put it on the bed. And I was still asleep. Yeah. There's pictures. People, there's, okay. I, I've, I've that, done some sleepwalking myself. But there are people that it's, you can do that the, to, there are heavy sleepers. Not yeah. everybody's like that. That would be a fair, a fair rebuttal, Celeste, except for the fact that there's three different people. You can't tell me they all yeah, have the same kids. That's, that's, yeah. level of sleep. And then with Vicky, this is her first time out in the wilderness apparently so you're not going to be sleeping well to begin with so i point of order point of order nothing she over she had a long <laughs> long hike and she did a lot to, she was uh, could have been very exhausted Dog tired, and very tired no 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 she has all these yeah. bug bites you're not sleeping through that i'm gonna be itching all night no no no, no. i i refuse to believe that she's gonna sleep hard She's going to be woken up by the slightest thing because, well, oh, my gosh, ah, it, nature, it's all over me. It's, it's going to wake up. It's in the script, so there you go. <laughs> Truer words were never said. Plot armor. All right. Plot, plot uh, uh, sleep uh, aids. I get it. Okay, fine. Well, that's still my treasure maker is that it just seems completely. We're talking about Ashley was saying how suspension of disbelief with the oh, accent. Okay. This was totally. I could not suspend my disbelief that yeah. these people would not wake up. Okay, regardless. And 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 how many movies have you slept through, Francisco? <laughs> you did not wake up. <laughs> wow. All the noise going on. Wow, with the low blows. Pull your punches a little, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> but Sorry. Paul, uh, don't pull your punches for your tragedy maker. What's yours for okay. the parent trap? 
What was almost my tragic maker is the idea that they set this up. Hey, you got to go on this camping trip and then we'll tell you. And then the mom does it and then they tell her anyway. I'd be like, sorry, that's not the deal. What are you doing? But that aside, um, I had said this has been over 20. There's my beeper again. Sorry. Just wait a minute, Commissioner Gordon. Use the bat signal. It's more silent. Anyway, this has been... Uh, at least 25 years since I've seen this. I had last I seen it was on the standard definition, the the small television. I've owned the uh, the HD version for a couple of years now. I just haven't watched it. So when I saw it this time, it was in the glorious HD. Um, I didn't realize how often I could tell the double who was not Haley Mills in this um now i was kind of looking for it i admit it just because it was like fun like trying to catch all like oh how did they do this kind of stuff um but i thought there were several shots where they used the double instead of the split screen and i thought the movie suffered for it and um that you could tell that it was a double and not Haley mills and i i thought it was like you know what take the extra time redo the scene re, re reshoot it again with Haley mills on the other side and have it look, make it look now there were some great moments like when they both had the cake on their face you know i thought that was great and i can understand like when the the two are in the far you know they're in the background like that's fine but there were some ones where it it was kind of obvious uh that i wish that they had reshot again and put Haley back in What's funny about that, though, Paul, is at least according to IMDb trivia, is that when uh, Walt Disney saw the the process shots for the Parent Trap and how well it looks, he's like, "Do some more of those," because he liked he thought it worked really well. Oh, there and, would have been less. Yeah, well, there would have yeah, been Disney less. Need, exactly. Needed to be more involved. Come on. <laughs> um, uh, I was I was trying to look up so we could give her some credit. The the actress oh, who the was actress. the because it was here I felt kind of bad in all the promos they never promoted her you know because well, they always said Haley Mills in it twice well she was she was actually um uh she, oh Susan Henning she there actually took on the role as Haley Mills' double um but her, her contract she signed away her rights to be credited um but at the rap party Walt Disney presented her with the small statue of Donald Duck calling the ducks uh, called the duckster in recognition of the best unseen performance on film. So nice. she at least Aww. got a duck trophy. Good I guess that's <laughs> something. Um, but okay. So you, you're upset that they didn't do more of the Haley Mills and actually Haley Mills together. Yeah. There were, there were times when you're looking for it, you can tell. And I mean, there are times where you can tell like at the backdrop, but um, like, for example, when they're both laughing at the, uh, they're in the when they're camping at the end and they're laughing at Vicky falling into the lake. It's a straight on shot of the double laughing facing you and Haley Mills is turned away and then she turns and it's her. It's like most of the shot is on the double rather than Haley Mills. Oh, I didn't instead notice of it. that. It should have been twice. Oh. Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay. A lot of it, it, it was my own thing where yeah. I was kind of looking for that. Yeah, yeah. But that's an example where it's like, Okay, you wanted the shot of them laughing. That was a terrible one to use, but if you're looking for that kind of thing.